Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Austria! Yes, I am back, guys, with another cool and collective episode where I'll actually be, like, you know, just casually talking about everything, and, yeah. Well, I'm back. I'm, I'm officially back, like, I've got my mojo back, I got my, you know, ruggedy good looks back. I'm completely back, so... Um, last episode, there was a couple of interesting developments. Just, just keep it on high for a night now. I know, I know I'm, I'm, I'm protecting my people to the utmost, but, um, last episode, there was a couple of new developments, like, for instance, um, Romania had formed, so, that was interesting. Uh, Romania has formed. Um, the reason why I mention Romania and why it's important, because it actually... Romania is actually a part of two different plans I had. It was a part of the new Europa plan, and my, um, sphere of influence plan. Um, what I basically want to do with Europa is I basically want to conquer them. Like, flat out conquer them. Um, but I have to make sure that no one else is... Yeah, no one, and since... No one else is right now using them. I could probably use them for my own benefit. Um, right now, the only allies they have are the Ottomans, who I'm pretty sure I still have an, a, a, a good truce with. So, yeah, we should be good there. Um, what I, And what do I want to do specifically is I want to do a... Uh, actually, nah, dang it, I can't do that. Um, I'm just thinking... This is this is what we want to do in the future, is that we want to eventually make Romania part of our empire. And, you know, have them in our empire so we can do a lot of, do a lot more things. And just so we can keep them under our boots so that they don't actually use the, the crisis mode, as they already are doing, to start, like, breaking apart my empire. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of Flashpoint in my land. So, yeah. We have to kind of cool, um, cool the jets of that, and... Um, let me stop making all this. Oh, I already made all the military. Um, so, since we can't do that at this point in time yet, let's go do the next best thing, which is go invade um, some Tunis land. Oh, wait, no, we can't do that yet. All right, that wasn't what I meant. Well, what I meant was is that let's go invade some more land. Let's just go take some more land from someone that's weak and kind of easy to take. And just, after that, just relax. So, because we have had, like, a tough, tough time. I mean, right now our empire is not doing very good. We, we're basically taxing our people to the utmost of all justice. We are not, we're not letting anyone non-tax the bill. But, um, we do have some good things happening to us. Like, for one, I think, I believe now Portugal is going to be added to our spheres. Yes, they are! So now we have Portugal in our sphere, and that means we now get to see what they're doing. And now we have officially, you know, taken over the entire Iberian Peninsula. And in terms of spheres, this is how we're looking right now. And yes, I know I'm losing all my provinces over here in Italy, but as I pointed out before, there's no point in holding on to them because they'll just be a massive, like, pan nationalist movement that'll basically just take them all over anyway. So. Ah, oh, somebody, and some idiot right now had took taken me out of Cardinalist Spain, which I find annoying. And they did not, yeah, they did not rise up to being a, a civilian, but somebody actually literally ripped me out of the sphere, which kind of annoys me. So, we're going to have to get that back up and going. But, yeah, now we got Portugal underneath our mitts. I'm going to decrease relationships with them, and we have a little bit more to go with Brazil, and then we're done. And like I said, you see what I mean? No one else goes after anywhere in South America except for America so we're good there but anyway since we have a free moment let's actually just take a, a free kind of ride and maybe we should declare war on the mighty Egyptian Empire get our, to get our concessions of the uh, of there are no gods or well, there's only one fate I really don't care about that as, as far as I've realized in the past if that that whole that whole argument right there really does not make a difference if you choose left or right, it really doesn't make a difference. But let's see, can we raise it down to like 65 taxes for everyone, or is this not going to work? It's really much the poor. If I can get the poor to be happy, then we're, we're good. If I can't get the poor to be happy, we're bad. So, yeah, 25% uh, tax. I'm just going to have to keep that up. So, yeah, what we're going to do is, I think at this point, 
is what we're going to do is just we want to just attack Egypt you know just calmly and casually attack Egypt and make them a part of our empire um it seems like the heavenly kingdom wasn't as strong as it usually is so yes yeah, state in interventionism that's what we need um seems like the heavenly kingdom did not form as strong as it usually did and a lot of people may be asking well why why is it formed right there it's usually like formed like over here well in this game it kind of actually takes how many reactionaries are actually in the party so sometimes the heavenly kingdom can sometimes spawn spawn with like insane amounts of land then other times it'll spawn with like little bits of land it really does depend okay so back over here we're gonna need to get some cheap iron and start upgrading our factories and stuff. Um, in terms of clergy, we don't need any more clergymen over here because we already have enough. Let's move over to Moldavia. All right. Okay, and one second, guys. Okay, guys. So we're just basically going to invade. Um, well, yeah, after we get some more machine parts, we're just gonna, basically going to go invade and go do some more stuff. Support! Support! Alright, let's get these guys. Doom, boom, boom. And, yeah. Let's see, right now our party's... Huh. I'm a little bit weary of how our political ideologies are turning out right now. Because right now most of our people are not, con are not liberals, but... The liberals have taken over my country. I don't like that, but I can't really do much about it. Can we get it down to 60? Everyone down to about 60 taxes. Okay. Tariff-wise, I want to go down to about 9 tariffs. So there we go. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to slowly get off of our like ex exponential money which we've had for like the last couple of years. But it's going to take a little bit. We are right now recovering majorly from like as you guys know, one of the biggest wars we fought in the entire game. So it's going to be a little bit before we will honestly be able to recover. Oh my goodness, couldn't it stand? Wow. 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 Um. Conservatives take a victory. Okay, that's good. But, wow. Um. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't stand. That's. Whew. Oh, they even have some cores over here, too. I, if I was them, I'd instantly go annex these guys and make a good, nice boundary. But dang. Yeah, I think... I think the entire Ottoman Empire has now been basically broken up. Oh, and then Romania doesn't have much allies right now. Okay, okay, okay. This is the perfect time. This is the perfect time to strike. Ah! Uh, uh, this is only at 44%. We have not been caught yet, have we? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, well, we can finish this out. I, I don't believe they're going to get anyone else as an ally, but we'll watch it. We'll watch these guys. So, we're just going to watch them to make sure they don't get any more allies. A lot of people switching to new countries. Um, I'm going to upgrade these things. Um, and let's see, how is our army actually structured right now? Because I need to start realizing how much we actually get a decent sized army. So, we need about six cannons here and about four cavalry here so six and four that's what we need about right now so one two three four okay and then we need some okay one two three four five six six of those guys and that, that, that should be good for now I mean we still need a lot more to, to like replace everyone we lost but for right now trying to rebuild ourselves this is good oh excuse me people and right now we're making about 1,890, really. Let's go see if we can get down to 55. It's, it's really depending on the poor. If the poor can still supply me with a decent amount of money, then we could probably get down to 55. Probably need to go a little bit higher in Navally, and there we go. Keep our production being made strong, and there we go. Um, This should be a decent amount of army. First minister appointed, yes! We got a decent one too this time. So yeah, once the army makes all of its soldiers, we're going to be very happily dandily doing more stuff. Um, with Egypt, though... 
I think what we're going to do is we're first going to get Romania underneath our boot, and then once we get Romania underneath our boot, then we'll start dealing with all of the other stuff. Like, we'll start dealing with the uh, Egyptians. But first we have to gain... First we have to gain the Kazabelli. Come on, give me the Kazabelli. Kazabelli, Kazabelli, Kazabelli. Alright, party allowed. Excellent. Excelente. Okay, we got all of our troops being made. Gonna wait for them to all be made before I group them up. Let's go see. Boom, boom, boom. And we are gonna have to eventually switch out the men inside them, but yeah, you just just close this because no one else is using it. Um, let's see. How are we losing this much profitability? Last day's pure income. Oh my goodness! It's the main needs for day. All right, we got what we wanted. And we just got what we wanted from Cardinal of Spain. Yes! Alright, let's increase relations. Cordial. I don't know how we got to zero with them. Alright, let's get our Carlos Bella against you guys. And make you guys a puppet. And now we're going to have to wait for that. But since they don't have anyone on this side and no one is trying to be on this side, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get this Carlos Bella pretty easily. And is anyone trying to be friendly with them? Russia is trying to be, but I don't think they're going to be able to become friendly with them before I, uh, before I, uh, like, do stuff. And it seems like <laughs> more nations are starting to break out of the Ottoman Empire. It shouldn't even be called the Ottoman Empire at this point. They're basically gone for, and even, oh man, even Greece got to expand, like, three provinces. So Greece right now, what are you, you guys are actually fighting them right now. What, what's the big deal? Like, what's happening? You should probably keep in touch with this. So Greece is Greek liberation of Northern Macedonia. And basically you probably are going to win. Oh my goodness. Uh, Ottomans and the, the Qing Empire is in the restoration of some people. Qing rest. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. There's a lot of restoration. So there's some breaking out of good wars. Oh wait, it's just a Yuan. Hmm. I thought it was a little bit bigger like people. Ooh, this is actually pretty big. But not big enough to really stop them. Uh, we can support the conservatives. Alright, since we have a good amount of money, let's see if we can get down to 50%. 50% taxes on everyone. Since right now our economy is going so good. Yes, 50% taxes and we're still doing pretty fine right now. This is good. Krikov! Oh no, I'm so worried that I'm going to lose my little buddy Krikov from the mean, from the mean mighty Russians. <laughs> yeah, good, good luck for me for actually caring. Alright, let's see, do we have all of our troops made? Yes, we do. So, this should be a well-balanced unit, and it should be even more well-balanced once I add these two units. Go right there, and voila. We got a, we got a fairly good-sized unit. I'm not, probably need like two more, two more infantry, but I'm pretty sure we can't get infantry anytime soon. So, not really too much of a big deal. Um, how are capitalists doing in building stuff? They are not doing insanely well. In fact, capitalism is failing me right now. So, that's good to note. In terms of also our... And bureaucrats, we're doing kind of terribly right now. But that's probably because we weren't supporting them for, like, years. So it's understandable if there's some, like, little relapse. And it seems like, yes, Iraqi nationalists are coming alive. <laughs> wow. I swear, I swear, the Ottoman Empire is doing exactly what I wanted them to do in my entire, like, form new ideas. Okay, and then there's obviously... Oh my goodness! I was just about to say, oh look, it's just a tiny little rebellion, and then this happened. Let's go see. Um... Let's go see, what's the biggest movements right now? Campaign for free unions. Um... Yeah, I still don't, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna allow all unions, because I definitely don't want a socialist union in my party, at least at this point. Let's go pay some good money, go conquer back all of our land again. <sighs> Man, what is with all these rebellions, seriously? Like, are you guys about done? Like, I don't, I mean, you guys are basically already destroyed, like, most of my army. I'm just basically trying to recover here. Whew. Well, no one said that Austria, especially in this game, was going to be easy. So, yeah, it's kudos, it's kudos to just keep fighting it, and eventually these guys should wear, wearing down. 
I mean, make puppet. All right, so we got that cause of spell eye. And where do both of these things expire? So this one expires by 1853. We could probably win this. This expires. Make puppet by 1853. So they both expire by 1853. Um, we should at that point be able to do stuff. Okay, guys, go crush the rest of these guys, and then we'll start talking about like uh doing stuff yeah, you guys yeah please go crush these guys and then you guys go crush those guys yes you guys are being smart good job okay don't die don't die don't die you guys are gonna die I my goodness yeah this is what the one reason why you should probably have always like good standard infantry because your infantry break pretty quickly okay but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get back I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get this all underneath my control. Just give me... Uh, by the end of this episode, probably. Let's just gain that all underneath my control. Let's see, we got Cardinalist Spain, yes! Okay, so we should be able to get Cardinalist Spain back inside of our sphere of influence. Which is good, because they're honestly a good sphere of influence. Alright, now that we have all done that, just keep smashing up the armies, because I want to make sure they can't keep making new armies. Alright. Then once we smash up all the armies, then we can start talking about, like, uh, doing other stuff. Great Cops at war with me? Hmm? Did I do something? Wait, why is Great Cops at war with me? I, I don't understand. What? Uh, what? Uh, what? Okay. I didn't know I was going to war against Krakow this episode, guys. Um, I was expecting the big baddie to be somebody else, but apparently I'm at war with Krakow, so let's go finish off them. Bohemian Nationalists are starting... Oh, gosh. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of the nations are starting to take advantage of the fact I'm like... A lot of these, like, nationalist movements are basically taking advantage of the fact I'm kind of weak right now. Let me go finish off this war, though, so that we don't have any more wars, because I think this war is actually causing more revolt risk than is necessary. Like, seriously, Hungarian nationalists have 50k right now, which is just insane. Okay. The Taiping floods. More Hungarian nationalists. They just keep on firing. This is like a entirely firing abode. Okay. What I'm going to have you do is go like this, 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 then go like this, this, this. Okay, you guys go like this. I'm pretty sure we won that battle, so I'm going to keep following these guys. Yes, we did. Good job. And once you're done with that, I want you guys to go to go all the way over here, crush all these guys. Okay, no, 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 no. No, no, you guys will go right here, right here, right here, right, right here, and then go back here. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah, you guys, once you guys are all done, oh, well, I think that's about the end of the episode today, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.